The movie Cargo is a sad tale of a father who has been infected by a virus. He has 48 hours to find someone who will take care of his baby girl. This is Australia. Andy and his family are traveling in a houseboat. His wife, Kay, is feeding their daughter Rosie. They see a family having a picnic in the woods. When Andy goes to talk to them, the man sends them away by showing his gun. Later, they pick up some manuals that the government has sent to everyone. Kay tells Andy that their food is running out, so she wants to try to get on land. But Andy refuses, saying how bad and dangerous the land could be. The truth is, there has been a zombie outbreak. Anyone who is infected turns into a zombie after 48 hours. Andy and his family somehow manage to survive on this houseboat. The next day, Andy finds a sailboat marooned on the river, so he goes to it to salvage whatever he can find. He finds some canned goods and wine, which he takes happily. Suddenly, he hears a sound behind the wall, so he leaves immediately. He shows the food to Kay. They are both happy that they have food to last a few months. When Andy goes to take a nap, Kay finds his wine gift with a birthday note. So, Kay also decides to go to the sailboat to get something for her husband. She looks around the wreckage, and she also hears the same sound from the wall. So, she quickly decides to leave. But, something pulls her back into the boat. Andy wakes up and finds Kay trying to bandage her wounds. She quickly takes a government-issued bracelet with a countdown to 48 hours. Andy is devastated to see his wife like this. He and Kay look at the symptoms that could be coming, which include vomits and seizures. Andy takes his family to land to get her to a hospital in a nearby town. Elsewhere, a kid can be seen feeding an animal to something in a pit. Meanwhile, Andy and Kay find a vehicle with the keys intact. As Andy starts filling up the fuel, Kay notices a zombie approaching them, so she turns on the light. Andy sees the zombie, so he gets into the jeep and drives away. As they leave, a man can be seen putting his head in the ground and struggling. Andy stops at a deserted area to change Rosie's diaper, but Kay suddenly falls to the ground. She starts vomiting and having a seizure, which are symptoms of the virus. Elsewhere, the kid throws a snake into the pit, but the thing inside does not eat it. Kay wakes up and sees that her symptoms are starting to appear. So she commands Andy to stop the car. She tells him that anything can go wrong, so he has to leave her and take Rosie away. But Andy cannot bear to leave his wife. He takes her back into the Jeep. As they are driving, a zombie appears on the road. Andy tries to avoid it and ends up crashing the Jeep into a tree. In the process, Kay gets impaled by a sharp branch. She starts bleeding terribly. Andy had suffered a concussion, so he faints. When he wakes up, Kay has already died due to blood loss, and she has turned completely into a zombie. On the door, Andy sees the words, save her. Suddenly, Kay wakes up and bites Andy, but Andy manages to get outside with Rosie. He then sits beside the Jeep and checks his bite wound. Knowing what could happen to him and Rosie, he screams in pain and anger. Andy takes the countdown watch and leaves with Rosie. Rosie starts crying a lot, so Andy sprays Kay's perfume. The smell reminds Rosie of her mother and she becomes quiet. After a while, he sees the same zombie that caused his jeep to crash. He prepares to attack it, but the kid comes to stop him. She is a girl named Thumi, and the zombie is her father. She takes her father away by cutting her own palm and leading him away with the smell of blood. Andy continues on his way and he finally reaches the town. It is small and abandoned. He enters a building and looks around. There he finds a school teacher named Etta. Etta realizes that Andy has been bitten, but she still takes care of him. Elsewhere, some aboriginals can be seen burning the zombies while Thumi looks from a distance. Thumi is actually protecting her father from them. She starts thinking back to when her father was alive and healthy. Andy gets a seizure and vomits the slimy yellow thing. When he wakes up, he finds that Etta has covered him with a blanket. Etta gives Andy a picture of Thumi and her father and tells them to find them if he can. Then, Andy continues on his journey to get Rosie to a safe place. On the way, he sees several people who have dug their heads into the ground. Unknown to Andy, one of them is following him. Just then, someone shoots it. The man's name is Vic, and he has been trapped under some gas cylinders. Andy helps him get out of the pit. In return, Vic takes him back to his home 
and introduces him to a woman named Lorraine. Vic gives a pearl necklace to her as his gift, but she takes it off when Vic is not looking, while Vic goes to work on some gas pipes. Lorraine tells Andy that he and Rosie are the first people she's seen in a long time. Then, Vic takes Andy away for some work, so he leaves Rosie with Lorraine. Andy and Vic go to the wilderness where a cage is sitting in the middle. Zombies are swarming all around. Vic gives his rifle to Andy, and they shoot the zombies. After they are done killing all the zombies, Andy sees that inside the cage is the girl, Thumi. Vic has been using her as bait to kill the zombies. Andy does not like this, but he cannot do anything in front of Vic. Next, Vic goes to a cage with an old aboriginal man called the Clever Man. Vic covers the Clever Man's cage with blood and meat and plays some loud music to attract zombies. Then, they go back. That night, Andy gets another seizure. With tears falling down his cheeks, he kisses Rosie and goes out. Taking the government-issued box, he thinks that Rosie will be safe with Lorraine and Vic. From inside, he takes out a stake which is used to commit suicide before turning into a zombie. Just then, Lorraine comes and stops him. She says that Vic is not her husband. Vic actually killed her husband along with other people. She asks him to take her away and in exchange, she will protect Rosie after Andy is gone. But just then, Vic comes and knocks him out. Andy wakes up in the cage with Thumi. Nearby, the zombies are approaching. Andy takes the chunk of meat and ties it into a rope. Then, he throws it away. The zombies pull the rope and the gate opens. Andy and Thumi escape and go back to Vic's camp. They wake up Lorraine and leave with Rosie. They start escaping, but Vic wakes up and shoots at them. Lorraine comes in between, thinking that Vic will stop, but he accidentally shoots her. He is filled with tragedy while Andy and Thumi escape. They go to the clever man's cage, but he's not there, so they hide in a small cave. Vic follows them, demanding Thumi back. They all keep silent until Vic eventually leaves. Later that night, Thumi wakes up to see Andy licking the blood off the wall. She holds Rosie while Andy recovers. The next day, Thumi tells Andy that the clever man can cure her father somehow, but Andy tells her that that is impossible. Meanwhile, an aboriginal woman can be seen following their trail. She is Josie, Thumi's mother. Thumi goes into the place where she kept her father, but her mother has already been here and put her father to rest. Thumi is extremely sad to have lost her father. Andy asks Thumi to come with him and Rosie, but Thumi refuses. Andy leaves and sees that he has nine hours left. He falls down, sick. So, Thumi comes and wakes him up. She and Andy go back to the river in search of the family that he saw at the beginning. On the way, they pass their original houseboat. They go ashore to the family's caravan, but it's empty. So, he takes Rosie out into the woods and finds the family there. The man is digging a hole because he has been bitten. He plans to kill himself and his family. There goes Andy's hope of giving Rosie to them. The man says that he will use four bullets on himself and his family. Andy can have the remaining two. Andy leaves and on the way, he hears the four gunshots. He takes the gun and is about to shoot himself. But Thumi comes and shows him some smoke, saying that her people are nearby. They go over the bridge. To get to the smoke, they have to go through a tunnel. There, they see a lot of zombies who are hibernating in the dark. Just as they are about to get out on the other side, they see Vic standing by a fire. Rosie makes a sound. So Vic comes to investigate. Andy stands against the wall like the other zombies, and Vic starts attacking them one by one. Andy shoots him, but Vic still manages to overpower him. He then beats Thumi until she's unconscious. Then, he takes Rosie. Vic and Andy are both injured, but Vic threatens to kill Rosie. Thankfully, he is unable to do so and lets Andy take Rosie back. They continue on their journey. Thumi has been hurt badly, and she is still dizzy, so Andy uses all of his efforts to take her along with him. After walking for a while, Andy starts losing control, and he gets attracted to a bunch of meat, but he controls himself. Andy takes some of the flesh and ties it to the end of a stick. He asks Thumi to look after Rosie because he feels himself losing control. Andy finally turns into a zombie. Meanwhile, some aboriginals, 
including Thumi's mother Josie, are attacking zombies to cleanse the land. The clever man is also with them. After they are done, they burn the bodies and leave. But just then, Thumi arrives. She is actually riding on Andy's back and leading him forward using the piece of meat. She has also tied Andy's hands. Andy finally gets his daughter Rosie to safety, but he is not alive to see it. The aboriginals are amazed to see Andy's determination. The clever man prepares to stab him, but Thumi stops him. She takes Kay's perfume and sprays it in front of Andy, who recognizes the smell of his wife one last time. Then, the clever man ends his misery. They all go back to a secret place where the survivors have camped safely. They greet Rosie like part of the family. On her belly, Andy has written the words, Thank you. And this is how this heartbreaking zombie thriller ends. For more unique and fascinating movies that you may not even have heard about, click on the videos on your screen. Also, do subscribe, like, and comment. Your one act will make a huge difference to us.